Hi friends, it's Joan at Ten Pentacles Tarot, and today I'm going to review for you the White Newman Sacred Animal Tarot, created by Alba, I, I can't read that, by Alba B.G. Okay, all right, so that is it, the White Newman Tarot, here's what the side looks like, it's published by Sterling Ethos, here's the other side, there's the end, and here is the other end, liminal. Is that liminal 11 or liminal 2? I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments. Light at the Crossroads, liminal11.com. I'll have to check that out. So this is a box. Well, let's see what it says on the back first. So it's $24.95 in the U.S., $37.50 in Canada. It says, lighting your path to the spiritual realm inspired by ancient rituals and stories of sacred animal spirits, White Newman Tarot forms a path to human reconnection with the natural world and spiritual realm. A stunning and original, oh, that's why, okay. A stunning and original tarot deck by Alba Balesta Gonzalez. Okay, and that's why we have Alba BG, because it stands for Balesta Gonzalez. All right, and again, Sterling Ethos in New York. And a liminal uh, 11, I'm not sure if that is like part of Sterling Ethos. If you know what that is, yeah, again, please let me know. All right, so this has a, a magnetic bottom like that, which is cool. And then this comes out kind of like a drawer. It slides out. If you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a pretty design, yeah, inside the box. Very nice. And then... This inside part looks like this. And this is very similar similar packaging to the Modern Witch Tarot, which I actually just did a review of. Um, the inside uh, part of keeping the card and the book separate are, is a little bit different. In this box, we just have a little piece of cardboard, like this L-shaped cardboard, which actually works much better, and it's much sturdier than um, the, the, the setup in the Modern Witch Tarot box, if you saw that... Uh, if you saw that video or if you'd like to see it, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the instructional guide. It's hardback, which I really like. And it seems like the Sterling Ethos um, tarot decks that are packaged this way have the little hardback books. So that's what that looks like. And here's what the inside looks like. Very cool. Um, this was published in 2021, so it's just a couple years old. Again, created by Alba Balesta Gonzalez. Table of contents. There's a foreword. There's an introduction by the creator. So she says, I'm very sensitive with regards to dreams. This is not something I control. So one night I dreamt about tarot and I woke up with the urge of having one in my hands, a strange and new sensation. Then I became very interested in the symbolism and archetypes within it, so I started to study and develop my own deck with the core idea of the word numen, that's N-U-M-E-N, a Latin word connected with divinity, here within the image of sacred animals from whom ancient religions evolved. So I set about reinterpreting the tarot's archetypes through this singular vision. I always find it very interesting to know how a creator um, came up with their idea for their deck. So that's very cool. And um, there's a section about the major arcana. Each major arcana card has a small picture and there's keywords. And then there is a paragraph um, or two paragraphs with the description and meaning of the card. So it looks like it's that way for all of the major arcana. We got keywords, two paragraphs. We move on and then we get to, and we'll do a one card reading at the end so you can see how the book's written. written. Then we get to the minor arcana. It talks a little bit about each suit. And then we have the Ace of Wands. So on each page, there's several uh, several cards. So there's one, two, three, four on this page, four on each page, it looks like. And I like the color illustrations as well. And then we come to the suit of cups and so on. And I like it. It's really nice. They um, go all the way like this through the, the pentacles. And we have for each one, there's one paragraph for each card. And then we have a section reading the tarot. And there's some spreads. There's one card spread. Um, there's some four card spreads. This one is past, present, 
present, future, and advice. This one is positive, negative, result, and advice. And the bond of the Newman, a six-card spread. The path to the sorcerer, a six-card spread. And then the extra cards you get are the black Newman and the white Newman. And the keywords for the black Newman are void, pending loss, and corrosion. The keywords for the white Newman are creation, starting point, and divine inspiration. So there's um, an interesting, it says, The two Newman face their own extinction. Two branches upside down, just about to burn into the sacred fire. The world is about to be spun upside down, and they still guard their altar, which drowns slowly into the depths. That's the black Newman. And then the white Newman says... The God's Father runs free across the virgin earth's plains. In apparent weightlessness, just like the bison in ancient cave paintings, it traverses the world, making sure that all of creation is in order. Okay, so that's pretty cool and creative. And each one of those has another paragraph. I'm just not going to take the time to read it right now. And then this is the end. And I'm going to visit this www.liminal11.com. Liminal11.com and see what that is. I have no idea at this point. Okay, very good. Let's look at the cards. This is what the back looks like. And it's revert. No, it's not reversible. It's, it just goes one way. Like there's um, a dog on one side and a couple of egrets maybe or herons on the other side. All right. So, and I didn't see any reverse meanings in here. So, no, there are no reverse meanings. So, we don't need to worry about that. The cards are glossy and uh, on both sides, and they are uh, medium to heavy weight. Sterling Ethos makes some, uh, you can see how thick the deck is. Sterling Ethos makes some good quality heavy cards. All right, here we go. Let's take a look. So here's the full. And again, I had to cover up a few body parts on about three of the cards because um, I'm hearing that uh, YouTube is getting very strict about what you can show. So, um, personally, I think that's silly because to me, this is art, but whatever. I just, you got to follow the rules so you don't get penalized sometimes. Okay. So the fool, the magician, there's one I had to cover the high priestess, the empress. And I love the colors, really nice colors in this, the emperor, the hierophant, there's another, the lovers, the chariot, strength, the hermit, the wheel of fortune, justice, excuse me, justice, the hanged man, death, temperance, the devil, the tower, the star, the moon, the sun, judgment, the world, here's the black Newman, and here is the white Newman. So those are your two extra cards. And then we have the suit of wands. We have the ace of wands. Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, Six of Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, and King of Wands. Now we have the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, oops, can you see it? Queen of Cups, and King of Cups. Then we have Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, 
Three of Swords. And um, these images are based on the Rider Waite Smith, but they've made some changes, so they're not exactly uh, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, and King of Swords. And now we come to the suit of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and King of Pentacles. So those are the cards. Now let's see how they shuffle. Again, with this being such a thick deck, I may or may not be able to do the riffle shuffle, but we shall see how it goes. Um, I have a feeling these cards are, yeah, it's, I don't have a whole lot of strength in my hands, and but these, are, do, they shuffle nicely, I can tell you that, that they do not stick together. And we're going to um, pull a card to do a one card reading so that you can see how the book is written to see if you can relate to it. All right. Spirit, what do you have to say to the viewer today? What do you want the viewer to know or think about? There it is. It's the Five of Cups. And I'm going to prop this up here so you can see it a little bit better. Here it is, close up. Five of Cups. All right, so this may be a message for you. All right, now the... Um, I'm going to pull a also a major arcana so you can see how that's written because they are quite a bit longer. The um, the scar sorry the descriptions. Okay, so five of cups. From the gentle spilling of her cups, the river flows. Yet as the final cup empties, her labors seem to come to naught. All depends on balance and measure. Disappointment and defeat seem to overwhelm the day. Loss is felt, but life, just like the river, will inevitably flow on. All right, so that is the Five of Cups. Let's see what the first uh, major arcana we come to is. All right, the Tower, there it is. Now that's an unusual um, depiction of the Tower. So instead of an actual Tower falling, we have a man who is stabbed with arrows. All right, so let's look up number 16, the tower. All right, keywords. It says revelation, transformation, and chaos. Pierced from on high in seemingly divine retribution, the unbeatable colossus falls. So assured, so confident, nearly to the point of arrogance, his assumptions of invincibility are now rudely shattered. The shock of being vulnerable is equal to the pain of the piercing arrows. Towering columns, Babel-like in their expression of human hubris and vanity, remain standing, for now. But assumptions are questioned. Are we truly godlike? How firm are our foundations? When all is destroyed, how do we rebuild? It is through the tower that these questions will be answered. All right, very good. I, I actually really like the way that was written. All right, friends, that is my review of the White Newman Sacred Animal Tarot by, I don't want to say her name incorrectly, by Alba Ballesta Gonzalez. And again, I really kind of like these magnetically sealed drawer type boxes. That's kind of cool. All right, so friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not done so. And if you hit the notification bell, you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded so you won't miss any. 
I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is where you are. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.